got this lure in China. And it was four or five of them. Good night. It was four or five of them for one cent. One cent. I won the auction. One cent and three dollars and fifty cent shipping. And on my first cast, I caught a trout. So I'm trying these really cheap Chinese plugs to see if it's worth spending ten dollars on any of these other ones. So that's the experiment that I'm trying right now. Do they fill up full of water? This one's got water in it already. So let's see if they're junk. So far, they seem to be okay. <laughs> Boat up on somebody good now. Man, please. Foul hook trout, I think. Alrighty, folks. eBay Chinese lure test. Look at this son of a gun here. That was my fifth cast. He's foul hooked and has the leader completely wrapped around his body. And there we go. This lure just caught on its fifth cast a keeper trout. On its first cast, it caught a throwback trout. Now granted, I'm up in five feet of water around a shell bar. And I don't know if you can see it, but that lure is almost half full of water. Now, I'm almost thinking, is that the way it's supposed to be? Maybe it fills up, but I don't see it draining out anywhere. I don't see it draining out. I don't know how water's getting in, but that's a deadly little son of a bitch right there now. It's actually see-through, but kind of an orangey color. I was thinking they did that to make it so it's easily castable, you know? And there we go. Chinese lure. What was it? Four or five for $3.56 all the way from China. And he's a 16 incher. Well, here we go again, folks. Here is another set of super cheap Chinese diving plugs, seven inches, three hooks, a little tiny bill, and it just caught a legal 15 inch trout. Look at that. So, this one has rattles and it's not see through, so I can't tell if it's leaking. But the other one has all kinds of like seams. Well, this one already, it's gotten whacked one time and I can see the paint's chipping. But, here's the other one. And it's still full of water. It's up to over halfway full of water. <coughs> I don't know how the water gets in, but it certainly isn't coming out. So this one is, I mean, that is a fantastic color. 
that see-through kind of goldish orange so then I put this one on and this is three and a half inches or four inches and this one was seven so these cheap Chinese I think I got uh, like 12 of these for $8.99 so uh, I haven't thrown a Yozuri yet and I got box full of Yozuri's so why not um, you know lose these instead <clears throat> yeah I was catching them on shrimp too but man I'm telling you it was like every cast I'm catching a little 13 14 inch they say that big fish eat top waters and I've been throwing a top water and this isn't a little Chinese lure this is a uh, this is one of my top producers the kick a mullet but you know if you really 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 want to catch big trout for me it's just so simple it's always been a giant live shrimp and that's the live shrimp that catches that big shrimp catches big trout I knew it was a trout the minute he took the float down on a float rig, folks. That is what we came for today. And to play with cheap Chinese lures that didn't really catch anything big. All right, let's keep at it. Well, you know, that live shrimp even catches 19 inches. Who let them dogs out? <laughs>